Wendy Bolton, and I'm the L&D Nurse Manager at the Women's Hospital of Texas, um, and I'm also a student uh, in the MSN program at UT Arlington. Uh, this active teaching strategy presentation is in partial fulfillment for the requirements of Nursing 5309, Teaching, Learning, Theories, Strategies, and Evaluation Instructor, Dr. Susan Ward. My reference group for this learning activity is our new hire RNs at the Women's Hospital uh, in orientation both on our labor and delivery and in our antepartum unit. The teaching strategy I'll be utilizing this morning for this activity will include demonstration and a follow-up observation on return demonstration. And my topic is the application um, of the chloroprep pre-surgical antiseptic skin prep for cesarean section. The three objectives um, is to identify the purpose of the agent, to demonstrate the correct application of the technique, and then to state the amount of time that the antiseptic must dry prior to incision. The purpose of the preoperative antiseptic agent is to reduce the risk of postoperative surgical site infection by removing any debris or microorganisms, either transient or resident, from the patient's abdomen. Um, we also want to inhibit any growth of future microorganisms, and this is the uh, antiseptic that we use here in the hospital. So the first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate how to apply the agent and how we do it here on the unit, and then I'll have one of you practice and show me what you've learned and the other two will just watch, and then I'll ask you a few questions. So the first thing that we do when we use the prep, uh, normally your patient's going to be pregnant. We do have some patients maybe that are having a DNC or something a little different, but for the most part, the patients in labor and delivery, obviously, are going to have a very rapid abdomen, but my model today is not pregnant, and I appreciate her letting me prep her belly. Um, the surgical incision is usually right above the pubic area, very low, and I'm not going to go that low on her abdomen just because I don't want to have to pull her, her um, bottom down anymore. We always apply our agent with sterile gloves, even though your hands won't be touching. You will be uh, using sterile technique. So the first thing you're going to do, because you won't have your sterile gloves on, is to open the packaging and set that aside.
then you'll toss it away. This is when your three minute timing begins. So now we'll watch the clock and for three minutes we're going to let that prep completely dry. The purpose is it's alcohol based so it's flammable. So if they're doing any cauterizing or anything like that when they begin the surgery, if it's not dry, then she could actually be harmed with a burn. So always wait the full three minutes. Uh, once the three minutes are done, physician will drink and they'll be able to start the surgery. Uh, and then the prep will continue to kill bacteria for about 24 hours, so inhibit any growth. Uh, and then that's it. So now I would like a volunteer to come and do the prep. See if they want to. Okay. I'm going to grab you. Fresh. So here are your sterile gloves. This is the one you're actually going to practice with. Okay, so I'm going to stick that aside. But I want you to show how you can put your sterile gloves on. And if you've never done that before, that's okay. I'll walk you through it. Okay. And then opening the prep. And then exactly. So I'm going to move this. Thank you. 